Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I have something really cool. This little guy. It is a retro watch. Uh, looks like a Game Boy. And it plays a game. And you can tell time on it as well. Two times actually if I'm... Uh, if, if, if I understand this correctly. But we'll see. Uh, it currently doesn't work. So hopefully it's just a battery swap. But let's take a, a closer look on the watch itself on the bench. Okay, so as I said, this watch, Game Watch Boy, it's actually called the Game Watch Boy, you can see there. It's a really weird name, but it's made by the company Mani, in Mani Industries from Hong Kong, as I said. And it's uh, this one is made in 1992, and they made these from 1992 to 1995. And they came in two varieties. Uh, this game, which is Super Mario Race, which is kind of Mario Kart but on a very low level. And it was also produced with the game Dr. Mario, which I don't have, unfortunately. That would have been fun to try as well. So we'll see if we can get this one working. And in order to replace the battery, we need a new battery, which is an LR1130. So let's take the watch apart. It has four miniature Philips screws on the back. When you re install these screws be careful because they are tiny and threads into plastic Oh, would you look at that? It actually started up with just a new battery. So let's put the backside on as well before we s play around with it. Okay, so now I have it all assembled again. And you can see that the game has started. So let's see if we can do something. Okay. Uh, yeah, these two buttons in the middle is actually just one button. It seems like it's toggling between game A and game B and two times. One with a little bell icon, guessing it has some kind of sound alarm. Didn't come with a manual, so let's... Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that, but as a set symbol has appeared. Okay, so now we can set the time with the D-pad and the A and B buttons. These two also acts as one button. And I'm guessing we... Yeah, we can set the, the other time as well. I have no idea if one of them is an alarm or not. Yeah, might play around with that, but let's just try and, and game a little bit. Um, I did read a little bit about this and game A is easy and game B is hard. So let's go for game B. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. You just avoid the other cars. Uh, and I think... Oh, sorry, shoot. I think you should be able to go into the leftest lane. Because there is... Yeah, there's a super left lane. Not sure... Why you want to stay... Okay, now I can't go to the left lane anymore. Maybe you need a certain amount of points to go to the left lane. Really need a manual for this one. Let's see if we can go to the leftest lane when we have a thousand points. Ah, shoot. Okay, we have a few mushrooms left. I have no idea 
if I'm gaining more mushrooms at some point. Now I can go to the left of the lane. Is that a word, left of the lane? Oh shoot, now my car had a little bit of a flag as well. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on really. If anyone knows or has the manual for this, I'd love to know about this in the comments. I guess I could figure it out by playing for a few hours or minutes. Because it's, it's pretty much just like this forever. Both the game A and B is the same game, just a bit different speed. Yeah, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. Uh, and from what I've gathered playing, you need to crash until it's ga game over, until everything starts over and you can see the time again. Uh, which is there. There we go. I want to take these wrist straps off because it has a burn mark both on the clasp and on here. I didn't really see those on the pictures when I bought this, but I didn't pay very much, so I guess that's fair. Uh, but I want to make a leather, custom leather strap for this. But I did also off camera try to get this off. Uh, it's, it's almost imp uh, there are no tabs like on, on normal watch band springs or whatever these pins are called in here. There's a little bit of a tab that you pull with, yeah, maybe a screwdriver or something. So I'm, I'm going to try and bend the pins out without breaking the plastic. Ah, come on. Oh, okay, I got it out. I'm going to check what a devious pin this is. It's going out, whether it like it, it likes it or not. Okay, this. Is, I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up, but this pin doesn't have those small tabs. So it's not designed to come off. That's just annoying. I mean, there are 20 millimeter pins that you can use that has the tabs. Why not use them? Okay, didn't damage it too bad on that side. Let's see if I get lucky and the other side comes off as well. So let's cut to that. Finally. This kind of design angers me. Why make it so hard to take the pins out when there are working pins for any clock that would have done the job just as well? Well, who knows, maybe some, maybe these are not original, I don't know. And I managed to keep the bands intact for the most part. So that's it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching this video.